Let me start by saying you guys, you have really blessed my life. And uh, actually I, I feel a lot of love for you because from the time I met you here, I just, just laid your face and I saw God in you. And every time every one of you stood to speak to us, I was feeling, yes, this is a connection. My name is Elias Gary Karachi, and uh, I'm born again. In fact, uh, I'm, I've come from the central part of Kenya. I'm not a Kamba, I'm a Kikuyu by tribe, but born again. And I came here, and the right level Joseph Kanuku took me and absorbed me in his diocese so that I can serve the Lord. And in, actually, he gave me a task to go, a place where there is no Greek, and I'm planting church there. And uh, I want to say that uh, this conference was timely for me because I've been having some I've been having some issues because of the difficulty in our churches in my church, especially where I am. I'm experiencing challenges, challenges of uh, moral because I started a church which is having now 17 Christians and among them uh, there is a lot of accusations because one man, one Christian did a very big mistake by just committing adultery and I'm in a midst where by other denominations just because of not knowing they are challenging us, they are telling us, oh, these are coming up, how are they, are they going to make it and yet they are doing sin in the church. But uh, as a pastor, I felt, no, it's like really calm down. I felt I need power. I felt, God, why am I facing this? So I was coming to this conference. In fact, a very heavy in my heart. I felt I need God to tell me something. Mm. That's why I'm saying that when I entered in this conference and you guys started teaching, especially this lesson of uh, of, of, of generational sin. I don't know, the topic was really actually, it was talking about the, the, the sin, generational sin, uh, about unbelieving us, about believing in God. All this carried my heart to God because I thought that that's the only problem I had when I was coming to this conference. But I came to realize, okay, in my spiritual uh, life, there are other things that are lying there that I've never ever took time to address them. And when I look back to my family, I found, oh my God, there is a lot of things that I related as things that we inherited. We who are there present, we inherited from our lineage. And uh, it's like I started crying before the Lord. I repented the sins of my family. I repented all the sins that are from the lineage of my family and I felt like I was relieved and then wait until we came to this lesson of Holy Spirit being filled in the Holy Spirit I didn't know that was that was my time you know when you started talking about the Holy Spirit and you give us scriptures as I was listening to this, I was seeing God talking to me. And uh, I don't, just don't know what happened, but uh, when you told us to stand, and then it's time to receive the Holy Spirit, I just experienced something that I've never, ever experienced in my, in my, in my Christian and my, in my belief life. I just felt that God is coming to me. I felt a lot of power coming into me. I couldn't be able even to say anything. I was just closing my eyes, praying the Lord, and then the Holy Spirit was coming into me and He opened everything. So I want to say that I am a changed person. I'm spirit filled and I'm happy. Every other time I'm, I'm just there, I'm happy. Even when I was praying at night, I just felt, okay, it is easy. God is here. He is in me. He is Emmanuel in my life. I just felt, okay, I now gain, I've gained power now to go back there and preach God with love, joy, peace, you know, enjoying ministry. I'm feeling I'm, I am, I'm full of joy. I'm another person altogether. Last but not least, 
the last speaker, that man, spoke about spiritual warfare and it also blessed my heart. I felt, okay, now I'm spirit filled and now I have got to know now how am I going to sustain the spirit in me? I have to know how to fight this battle as a pastor. So I'm filled, I'm feeling that I have got a lot of power in me. I've got a lot of wisdom in me. I've got a lot of what it takes to be where I have been set by the bishop. I was even thinking of coming to tell Bishop, oh, remove me from there, Bishop. But now I've got power, I've got energy, I've got, I believe and trust wholly in God that I'll go there and bring change in that place. So I am the person who really have gained from this conference. I love God, I love my Bishop, I love you people. When you go back, please remember us, pray for us, and we will pray for you, you are our friends. I thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you.